welcome once again today i'm going to show you how i made this cute little bird it's called a black capped chickadee and it's really cute and it's a very easy and fun project it doesn't involve any wire structure or plastic just the plastic eyes and i felt it the beak as well so let's get started i've just rolled some corridor slivers and uh, I've taken roughly the size of the bird that I want and I'm going to give it an oblong shape and leave the bit of fluff for the tail. And I'm attaching the head. So I'm going to shape the whole bird in one go. That's why I'm attaching the head. I'm not doing it separately like we do in animals. So it's going to be one piece. Here I'm shaping the bird. Yes, we live close to the main road so you can hear the traffic. And please ignore that. <laughs> So I'm just going to add more wool till I'm happy with the shape and I want it rounded from the end, from behind the lower end. And a little fluffy tail. I'm leaving the fluff there because I'm going to attach the tail so it's easy for me to attach. As you can see. You have to keep getting it into shape and adding little wool at a time. Now I'm marking the place where I have to put the eyes in and it has to be symmetrical so you can just push your needle through to see if you got the both eyes on the spot where you want them. So they should be symmetrical. So when you're happy with the spot I'm going to glue them now. I'm adding some black color around the area where the eyes are going to go in because I've got transparent uh, glass eyes and mm, they look weird they've got white underneath so I'm adding some black I'm adding more black to the head It's a merino top. You can have a picture of the real bird in front of you and see how the black color goes around the head and the eyes. And then they have white cheeks and below the chin they've got black again. So I'm gonna color my uh, bird according to the real picture of the black capped chickadee. Now I'm shaping the little beak. I've got some grey wool and uh, I think it's Corydale and I'm wrapping it around a toothpick because I want a really small beak and I'm rolling it into shape just as thick as I want and then I'm going to cut the rest of it away or you can just felt it down 
So this way I'm shaping the beak and when you roll it on a toothpick it's going to be really small and the shape you want. Roll it in your fingers. And take a finer needle and just keep stabbing it till it's really neat. Yesterday I got my fine needles from Heidi Feathers. I'm going to take those out. I've heard in other tutorials that they give a really fine finish. So this is how I attach the beak. Left some fluff at the bottom and I'm going to weld it down. So the beak stands. I'm going to weld it all around so it's tight and secure. I'm felting it from all around. Put the beak down on the mat and really want it to be secure. There it is. And I'm thinking that it's a bit too long so I'm just stepping down the end of it. So I make it a bit shorter. Sorry, that's off the screen. When I'm working really close, I tend to get off the screen. I'm sorry about that. When you're shaping the just the shape of the bird, you can. It really helps to use your hands to shape the basic body. So I'm felting it vertically down on the really other edge that is attached to the body. So I'm trying to make it a bit smaller. So I'm going to keep stopping it till I'm happy with it. and make it neat as well. You can use plastic beaks if you want and I've seen some people make them out of polymer clay. I have to try out polymer clay myself but I haven't done so as I'm still a beginner. I'm going to attach some more black color just below the beak and it goes in kind of a round shape then it has white cheeks so I have to leave space for the cheeks and make a black spot right below the beak and going a bit around the neck so you should always have a picture 
of the bird you're doing in front of you when you're going to color it. giving it some finishing around the beak so I haven't got any white patches coming through I'm testing the, the small strands of black around the eyes. So the eyes don't seem to be popping out of the head. As you can see, I've taken a little strand and I'm finally doing it around the edges of the eyes. So you have to be careful and make it neat. Now I'm moving ahead with the colors and I'm giving it a white color to the breast of the bird and down the tummy. I've mixed up some light yellow and brown color to make the light shades that the bird has. I just mix them up with my hands. And adding some more white to it so they look nice and blended and it doesn't seem like it has patches of different colors some brown to the back It's actually greyish brown. Now I'm making the wings. This is the first time I'm making a bird, so I'm learning 
shaping the wings trying to get the size right so I'm just putting it on the bed and seeing if I've got the size right and have to make sure that I've got the bend in the wing right and on the right side You can draw a template and if it's, it makes easier for you, draw a template and then keep measuring it. So once you got one wing ready, it's easier to do the other one. Got them too big, so I'm just gonna cut them. This is the first time I've cut some felted piece, and I think it's it wasn't that bad. I'm making a tail now, grey colour and giving it an edge of black, filtering down the sheets just like I did in the wings. I've got uh, I've used a hair straightener to give them a nice and crisp finish, the tail as well as the wings, so now I'm attaching them. bottom and as the, the tail is really thin I have to be careful when I attach it so the white color doesn't go all the way out from the top now attaching the wings going all around didn't want to make it super realistic but it looks cute as I mentioned before I'm not making it super realistic so I've just rolled some brown wool and I'm going to give it little tiny feet just roll them into a cylindrical shape and I'm going to attach them and shape them on the body They're not going to show, so it's just right at the bottom. This is about it. Thank you very much for watching and do subscribe for more. See you next time.